Hello and welcome back. I'm doing another shoreline fishing video of what to look for on the shoreline for fishing for cats, bluegills, crappies, and any other fish that you might like. And this one of the time you see a opening over there where there used to be an old bridge. You, that's part of a channel that runs from that opening where there used to be a bridge there. There's still some debris in the water. And it goes all the way over to that bridge. And under the bridges, this time of year, you can catch a lot of bluegills, crappie, cats, Largemouth bass I like to hold up in there. A lot of your game fish do because there's deep pockets over there. Push at least maybe seven, eight feet, maybe nine feet deep at both ends, both sides of the bridge, but underneath it, it gets a little shallow unless you know where to cast. And out here in front of me, you get some. Uh, tree stumps out in the water about anywhere from 15 to 30 feet you also have crappie bed those uh, PVC ball ball spears that they made and threw out there they're about 25 30 feet out and if you can get your rods out there deep enough pass all of that with a good four uh, good catfish rod with a four a five ounce weight with a piece of cut bait, net colors, bluegill, skipjack, moon eye, whatever, uh, sucker or whatever. You can get out in that channel and you hook into some nice cats where that channel is pushing 10, 12 feet deep right now. If you go uh, from that opening where that picnic table is sitting at over there by the tree between the lighthouse and that picnic table. You can follow that current out because you can always follow the current with the ripples or the waves because it, it'll always show you the true current when it's leaving there and you can always hit it with a good rod you can always find good holes out there because there's more ripples I guess with a I, I want to say I'm not looking I don't think I'm getting the right word, but you can get the right ripples and stuff over there. Let's take a walk walk over there. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And this is still at Frank Holton across from the Grand Marais Golf Course. If you can see where it, oh you can't see it yet. But when we get over there you'll see it. I see this mulberry tree, tree right in front of me leaning, leaning over the lake. Now in the springtime, when the mulberries are out and falling off the tree into the water, that's a good place to fish with a light, small hook with a uh, mulberry on it that's ripe. No weights, just pop it out there underneath a tree you can catch buffaloes, carps, suckers, catfish they all love going underneath that this mulberry tree here where it hangs out over the water right there and they just gobble up the the mulberries and I tell you what, you can see them just going ballistic. Alright, this is where I'm talking about. Yeah, the water's up. 
So you're not going to see that little concrete wall, I don't think. Actually, if you look real close in the water, you, you might be able to see it. Oh, there it is. A concrete wall just on the other side of that is a nice drop off. It goes very deep. You can catch some bluegills there. All the way over there against the shoreline, you can catch bluegills and crappie. Uh, when the water's down, you'll see some pipes and everything sticking up over there in that corner where you can get some nice crappies. All along that shoreline will produce some nice big crappies. But as you see, where it's calm over there, it's more sh uh, shallower. But there goes a channel out towards that big cottonwood tree. And it curves about, <coughs> if you can see the big cottonwood in the center of the uh, picture, that uh, channel curves about 200, 300 yards away from the cottonwood tree and goes right back into another culvert, <coughs> which leaves, leaves out of the uh, park and feeds back into the Mississippi River. We have two ditches coming in here. <coughs> one ditch coming in and and that one going out, which creates a good uh, channel. Every once in a while, we'll just like a, get a paddlefish stuck up in here from the Mississippi where to actually swim, swim into the river. <coughs> All right, this is a good bass fishing spot for a lot of bass fishermen. And bluegills and crappies that come up underneath these trees in the springtime. And fishing this right, <coughs> fishing this real good and right, you can pull out some big ones. Even when uh, catfish goes on the beds, they'll come up underneath here and you pull out some nice big cats. As you can see, someone's been throwing some Christmas tree branches in here, but apparently they didn't get out there far enough where it would count. This is a good lake for a family lake for fishing. This lake has no uh, size limit or catch limit for crappie. You get some nice big bluegills out of here. You get some hybrid bass. You get some striped bass out of here. And they're good eating. You can get them up to 8 pounds to 20 pounds. And you catch them on live bait, lures. You even get largemouth bass in here, which they stock twice a year with seedling bass. And this is one lake that is not fished very often for bass. And they keep stocking it twice a year for seedling bass. They've been doing that for the last 10, 12 years I know of. And they have a, a trout program here for uh, fall trout and spring trout where you can catch five trout a day limit. But you have to catch them during trout season and you have to have a trout stamp. This is just part of the lake for this one. I will take you down to uh, another part of Prairie Colton Lake, which they call Lake 3, on the other side of the highway. And I'll show you a video of that one and show you the difference differences between this one and that one. I'll show you some more key features of bank fishing from the shore. I'll catch you another video.